Hello, hello everyone. My name is Joe Cox, and thank you for tuning in to Josie Cox Photo. As always, we do have a new plant for the video. Second, this is an unscripted video. And third, this video will cover my own personal experiences and workflows, so there will be some things included, some things excluded. Today's video, we are going to be talking lighting accessories, which is why you see all of this here in front of me. Additionally, when I do go through these, I am essentially going from basic and least expensive to more complex and more expensive. And instead of just turning off and on a light in front of a subject for you, I'm just going to be telling you whether or not that lighting accessory produces a soft light versus a harsh light, and whether that lighting accessory produces a more directed light or a less directed light. So let's go ahead and start. First one that I've got here is going to be a five in one reflector and it does get its name because it has five different uses inside of one tool. So in the very center here, you do have this diffuser and a diffuser is great for softening the light that is over top of your subject or for diffusing your light source and essentially working as a soft box. Now, if you use it as the reflector, this silver side is going to produce a much cooler colored light and bounce that light back. Whereas this cold side is going to bounce back a much warmer colored light. If you flip it over now, we do have this silver and gold side, which will be a kind of nice middle ground in between the two. Still a little bit warmer, but not quite as warm as that gold. And then we do also have this white in here which is going to act like that silver side, but it's going to be much less strength. So it's not going to be bouncing quite as much light back as the silver side would. Moving to our next area, and you see these all the time, is you have your classic umbrella. So an umbrella is going to produce a soft light, but it is going to be a very undirected light source. So it is going to cover a large area with that light. I use them all the time. One of the main problems with them though, is if you have anything that is reflective, a lot of people are going to be able to very clearly tell that you used an umbrella for your lighting. But for the most part, I've got three or four and I love those. Oof, and very cheap method of helping produce better light. Next, we do have some reflectors here. And these reflectors are gonna produce a harsh light but they are going to help direct your light source a lot better. So these work by, if you look through, you have all that silver in there, your light is going to bounce back and forth into it and then come out of the tube. And in that sense, that's where you get the much better directed light source from it. Hey you, yes you, quick announcement for the video. Did you know I make merch like coffee cups so you can always be sipping your favorite drink? Hoodies so you can always be looking stylish? or even wall art to make sure that any room you're in feels like home. And there's so much more, and the best part is it's always getting added to. So not only do your contributions help improve this channel and further educate more people, but also a portion of those proceeds go to supporting the Semper Fi in America's Fund. So what are you waiting for? Go check out the link below and make sure you get after some of that cool merch. But I love you, you're beautiful people, and always remember that. Now, let's get back to the video. If you're looking to direct your light even further, that is where, and it, it's a terrific word, but it is called a snoot. And this snoot right here, as you can see, it kind of works as a funnel for light, where you have all your light coming in, and then it gets very channeled into one very specific place. So very direct light source with this. Next, we do have our barn doors, and they get their name because they open up quite like barn doors do where you just fold them open or slide them open or I don't know how you want to say that open them like a barn door see them all the time on film sets but they are going to produce a harsh light because there is no diffusion on there and it is going to help direct your light source much better so these I don't I don't often find myself using this but I am glad to have it because there has been a few times especially with portrait photography where I found this very useful for myself before I move to what these are here, the next thing I want to cover are going to be soft boxes. So soft boxes, as the name kind of implies, is going to be a very soft or diffused light. And additionally, these are going to be much better at directing light. So they do come in pretty much two big shapes. So you have your classic octagon or your squares and rectangles. 
I personally like to use the octagons whenever I'm shooting outdoors because it kind of mimics um, in reflections the sun, whereas squares or rectangles I find much better for indoor use because they look like natural fluorescent lighting kind of things when you or when they show up in that reflection. Additionally, those two soft boxes that I just showed you are very, very small. Um, this one, for example, is so I can grab it. Oh, yeah. It is almost my height, and I'm six foot. I think this is, I don't know how big this is actually anymore, but this is a much bigger one, as you can tell. So they do come in all sicker, all sorts of different sizes. And the last thing that I do want to kind of cover here is going to be an accessory for an accessory, and that is going to be grids. And grids are going to really even out your light, but what they are going to do is greatly help direct your light. So basically the light has to go through all of these little slots in there. And by doing that, it means that you don't have a lot of spillover light into different areas of your photo. So again, very nice at directing lights. And so they can be used on reflectors like you just saw, they can be used on snoots, or they can even be used on soft boxes as well. So. All in all, those are going to be the big lighting accessories that I'm covering today. Not. You guys almost forgot about color gels. I'm definitely not coming back and doing this because I forgot. You forgot about it. But like, look at this. Super cheap colored plastic. You take a light, you shine it through. Boom, now you got green. Take your same white light, shine it through. Now you got blue. You want red? We got you with that red. You want orange? Well... You're kind of getting a little bit of yellow. And if you want yellow, you're kind of getting a little bit of green. But if you want a nice diffusion, we got that too. I'm shaking my head at you. Why'd you forget about gels? They're dope and they're cheap. They're, you don't have to be doing that for them. Now let's get back to it. There is still a whole like plethora of other lights that are lighting accessories, excuse me, that you can go and check out. Like there's the 360 globe soft boxes, which are basically, they almost look like hot air balloons where their whole goal is to, I mean, show light everywhere and get light into a 360 room. Whereas you do also have like optical um, reflectors, which will, they do all sorts of crazy stuff. But that is going to cover today's video. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you so much for all of your support. As always, don't forget to subscribe. I am releasing a lot of good information right now, and I don't want you to miss out on it. So I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.